Hey guys, second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. You gotta, you gotta say that with him doing a bad impression of me. So I say second fan of the night and then everybody mocks me. Second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. And this is Andy's last fan of the night. Rick and I will do a few others. As much as we would like Andy to stick around and we don't, we don't get nearly enough of him, in my opinion. We get way too much of Rick. Um, the, exactly the right amount of metal. Uh, because whatever amount of metal you get is the right amount of metal. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I forgot to take a picture of this, by the way, so please don't let me forget to take a picture of it, um, before, we take, before it. we take it down. Okay. Um, this is a new tone slimline. I think everybody knows slimlines. They're a pretty common reoccurrence in my channel. Uh, I was telling Andy earlier, and I've probably said this in a million videos, how they, they break a lot of rules for me and I somehow still like them. Maybe it just all cancels. Um, because I normally don't like spinners with no lower canopy. I normally don't like huge switch housings. There's just a lot of there's a lot of things about these that I don't like, but somehow I just think these are a perfect fan in some ways. And in particular, I think they look perfect in mid-century houses and other like MCM type buildings, like just all the the squares and angles just it looks it look it looks perfect for that type of install. Um I've, I saw a ton of these as a kid. These were very common in my area. My aunt and uncle had one in their dining room, and they changed it out when I was very young. Um, and then the y, YMCA had one in the lobby. Um, I could just name place after place after place that had these. They're still actually one of the few vintage fan installs that still remains on State Street, Andy. Uh, I think it's Paul's Bookstore. What's the used bookstore on State Street? Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Has two of these in different, I think, I think one's 52 and one's 36, and then they have a 52-inch a pro line. So it's like a whole assortment of all the different new tones that were offered at the time. Um, what do you guys talk, who, who wants to go first? Andy, what do you have to say about these? Any childhood memories of these? Um, not really, but we did put the 36-inch uh, same finish in my, uh, apartment, in my old apartment, so it was there for about... Four years. Oh, Himali Churi on State Street has two just like this, but with, with globe light kits on them on long down rods. Okay. I've never eaten there. I keep meaning to. Didn't you say there's a Pizza Hut that had some too? Yeah, actually, we got to go see them because they're closing in May. Pizza Hut on uh, Mineral Point. You ever been in there, Andy? I have not, but yeah, that's not too, uh, not too close. Do me a favor. Go in there and see if the slim lines are still there, and if so, take some pictures, and that'll save me the trip to the west side If uh, if because I was going to go over there just to film the Pizza Hut. I filmed it years ago, um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Again, these were just. I'm surprised you don't have any childhood memories of these because these were just I'm like. Sure, I've seen them. I'm sure I saw them around. In fact, I think there was a like a, an, a, an outlet type store that my mom used to drag me to as a kid <laughs> that had some of these. Do you remember where? No. Okay. I mean, it would have been around here somewhere. I don't. I mean, I guess you have to be. Outlet type store doesn't really. Yeah, what do you, what do you mean like by one of those like, uh, like a discount place? Yeah, or almost like Steinmart sort of. Ben Franklin used to have these, although not the not the one in Madison, to my knowledge. But a lot of Ben Franklin stores had these. Um, yeah, they're just you see them all over. They were they they sold a ton of these, and I'm just always happy to see them. Rick, what about you? I did not see many slim lines. I saw Sea Island way more. Um, in terms of the slim line itself, the only like childhood-ish install I can think of was, um, in fact, they're still there to this day, I believe. Um, there's a bowling alley in Lowell, Indiana, um, that has an assortment of these. I think some are replacement fans. They, I, I would imagine they were all originally 52-inch slim lines, and then some have been replaced with huggers and other stuff. But most slim lines are still there. And then there's one random. 36 inch one near the front, I believe. Yeah. Um, and, but yeah, that's, it's a neat install, nevertheless. But yeah, no, I, I like these a lot. I had one in my bedroom for a while. Yeah, I had one in my kitchen for a while, and that was that surprised even me. Because again, it's not something I, I normally would expect that I would like. Um, but it just so happened that when I was moving into my current house, Neil, who you guys have met, he used to work at the Restore, and he was like, hey, I got an old fan for you. And so I picked it up on the way to, to one of our moving days into our current house, and it was just fully assembled, but it was a small one, so it fit in my car. So I just threw it in there, and I brought it to the new house and just threw it up in the kitchen just to have a fan there, yeah. and then left it there for way longer than I would have guessed. Huh. Well, the other thing to mention about this one, as is common with new tones from this era, it had a uh, failed capacitor, and the, uh, it uses a 4.5 
but the only capacitor we could find around here that was close was a 5.5. So it's a little high of a value. Um, I, before I installed this anywhere, I would like to make it a, 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 a either a 4.5 or a 5, um, but it does perform better. Um, it does just it draws a little bit. You're not supposed to go over the rated current. These are rated at 0.75, and with the uh, with the 5.5, it goes a little bit higher than that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and. All right. Um, let's see. So I got it set to low on the pull chain. Yep. Oh, this is out of frame now. It was in frame, and then something happened, and, and I'll blame these myself. Things, I, I feel like a lot of new tones from this era generally are sluggish, but it, I mean the speeds are definitely. Uh, this is low, and it's already going pretty fast. Yeah, they're kind of luck of the draw with the speeds from this era. Yeah, some of them are. Some are better. How did I manage to get this in the frame before? You, it was a. Uh, you had it pointed. It was more like. Oh, because that was the fan. The last fan was on a longer down rod. That's why. Let's just see how. Oh, is, it, is my my fix for that finally disintegrating? Okay, I'm still trying to get it in frame. Maybe if we move this a little bit over. Yeah, now we're in frame. So yeah, that's that's pretty high for low. Yeah, that's pretty fast. So uh, you you want to tack it on the speeds, or you want to just wait till we get the high? 0.5 amps, 38 watts, and three or about two thirds power factor. What, yeah. What was that? Do you want to tack it on the speeds, or you want to wait till we get the high? Yeah, I'll just get the high, I'd say. Okay. Well, why don't you try? But you won't be able to reach that pull chain. Just show them, Rick. Show them what we have to do. Well, see, the fans are low. It's like through a medium, but. But oh dear, oh no! What what's happening, Rick? I can't reach this. It's so oh, terrible. Oh, the worst day of his I'm life. Bye, fan stick. <laughs> You're not even in camera. <laughs> it was great, but you weren't in frame. Yeah, you've got it pointed way up there, I'm sure. Yeah, well, yes. You can see part of the fan stick in. Yeah. That worked? Yeah, we, we had to mangle it for something. Might need to remangle it for something else. Hi. That uh, might be medium. Yeah, it's medium. I think it's on medium. Oh, did I get it twice? I think you did get it twice. The the beauty of fan stick. Yes, fan stick. So what? Fan stick is the solution to all my problems. You got to be more like. Did you see the Bell and Howell socket fan commercial? I did. It's exactly the type of cheesy commercial. It's terrible. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's like they've been reading my fan stick I scripts. They, there was nods to your video. I, I really I really feel like somebody at Emson is like, you know, is trolling me at this point. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see where we're at. Yeah. Now we're drawing on medium. What it should be drawing so on high. I, I, I can't. I'm I'm shocked that one microfarad is making that much of a difference. I did test the replacement capacitor to make sure it wasn't like way off, and it wasn't. It, it was right around five five. So, um, again, you're supposed to be able to go you know, a microfarad, but at the same time, you know, it's also, where's the calculator? Cause that's, All right, so, uh, let me, so let me math it. 5.5 divided by 4.5. So that is like a 20% difference. That's not crazy. You should be able to do a 20% difference. It's a really yeah. Cause I didn't want to destroy a good tassel with, uh, Fanstick would never destroy anything, Andy. Fanstick is the solution to all of my problems. It is adjustable. Yeah. Many settings on Fanstick. The, uh, the new and improved adjustable Fanstick. Yeah. Well, we did uh, use fan. We did use Lightstick to install many of the Christmas lights at my house. Rick and I. Uh, I'm leaving them up there to see if they'll still work next year. Because what's the harm? They don't work and we got to take them down and put them back up anyhow, but we could at least do that all in one day. Ah, yeah, so I, I should have filmed the uh, capacitor test and swap because um, they're well, not only that, but it was such a distinct difference. I'd like to be able to document the difference. 103 watts, power factor of almost one. It is. Like, if it wasn't drawing so much more, oh, I'd say leave it, I would leave it. I mean, I'm, I, 
in the future, in the future, I would like to swap out. Depending on where we go eat, we could stop at my house and get a proper capacitor and swap it in before we take the fan down. Um, maybe. Uh, Depends what. What would you say? I don't know about that based on time. I mean, if if we're if we're eating somewhere near my house, it would not really add much time. Is my point. Okay. But um, okay, well, yeah, do the Andy. Do you want to try the CF the CFM and RPM tests? Yeah, good, give it a shot. Do the RPM first. The RPM can be kind of a pain because it's the blades aren't reflective. And then like the red laser pointer, try to get it on the white ceiling, like when it you know poking through the blades like against the white yeah. part of the or even the gold lines. Fine. Like not on the beams, yeah. There you go, exactly like that. I I would get a little closer to the blades. Like I usually go about a foot below them and try to mimic the pitch of the blades with the surface on the top of the meter. No, you could tip it towards you a little bit more. I mean, like. Try to, um, that seems right, actually. That that seems like a, a accurate number. Seven ninety one would be uh, one ninety eight on high, which just looks like right around two hundred. I think I think that's probably it. Okay, now the anemometer. You want to pass in the, the anemometer? The anemometer is actually a little bit easier because all you don't have to hold anything. I don't know if you guys knew that. You yeah. Just, you just turn it turn on. Turn it on. And, and we're just trying to get the highest number we can. So trying various bl blade positions. I mean, he's a he's a he's a weather guy, so oh, he probably yeah. knows how to use an anemometer. Yeah, but no, all I'm saying is we're not we're not taking the average, which is what we're supposed to do. We're just looking for, you know. So feel free to get as close to the blade or as close to the. Is there? Oh, that's temperature. Oh. No, just, it was set for the right thing. Just, yeah, you're just looking. You don't have to hold anything. Just physically hold it near the blade as well. And I'm getting around, I'd say around 400, give or take. Is that the highest number? That uh, you the highest number is, uh, I'd say 393, 433. Okay. Try going a little closer, too, and see if it makes a difference. And try going like closer to the blade tips or versus the middle. Like every fan, it seems like it picks up in a different place. Yeah, that's uh, 472. It's probably just different. Yeah, 472, 492, 512, oh. 531. Well, well, what happens when you go all the way to the tips of the blades? Yeah, that's when it's about 500. Well, you're still quite a ways from the tip. That's what she said. It's a, he, I think he's closer. Yeah, 531, 551. Okay. What is the highest number that you got? I'd say 551. I've been very comfortable. You guys are some pansies with this cold. I'm not cold right now, but I'm also not right under the fan. Tell you what, Rick, why don't you go up there and see if you can get a higher yeah. number and see how cold you get. I won't be cold. I've been up there already. Okay, well, if, if, if so, it's only because you're wearing a stupid jacket. So, Andy, what was the highest you were getting? 550-something. That's what he got. So that seems like that, that checks yeah, then. That's, it's the best about right here and it's relatively close. Yeah, 551. This takes out a good breeze, not going to lie. Like, yeah. They, they act pretty deep. I don't know what the blade pitch is, but it's pretty good. Yeah, that's about... 8100 uh, CFM. So okay. that's not bad. Not bad at all. No. Do we want to bother with reverse? <laughs> uh, it doesn't, it's, it's not important to me. Uh, let's at least do reverse on high because of the, with the capacitor swap, it'd be interesting to see if, if, if it's any difference. It's up to you guys whether we do, uh, well, no, might as well do this through all the speeds if we're going to do it on high. It's not like it takes very long. Okay. Well, let, I'll. This will put, uh, so 
Yeah, I like the, I like this Nancy Press a lot. It does, yeah. it, it works well on this. Might be it, it's hard for me to pick a favorite finish on these, but antique brass it'd be antique brass or brown and brass for sure. Um and polished brass actually. Polished brass looks because I have a, that one I have is polished brass. Yeah. I we did a really cool install in Andy's house where we did one of these in thir this exact fan but 36 inch with a globe light kit over his like kitchen table. And then we did a hacienda with I don't remember what light kit, but it was the same finish and blades and every everything about it was the same except the light kit in his kitchen and they were kind of like right next to each other so it was like a dual new tone install yeah, that's kind of and then we had a whisper wind in the living room yep. which uh did we use that ladder for the whisper wind or was it the shorter orange ladder i think it was that one or might have it was close must have been up that's the one we tried uh taking it because it was such a pain to get up the stairs we tried just dropping it off my balcony <laughs> yes <laughs> we got it we, it worked if we would have had this ladder it would have been easy though oh that thing's great yeah yeah can... that, that ladder is collapsible andy so you can just collapse it and carry it up the that stairs and been, uh, ideal. yeah we can go back there and get it now yeah we'll see if the current i i, I keep every once in a while because there that building mm -hmm. is between my work and the quick trip that's on Schrader road yeah Every once in a while, I'll just walk through the parking lot on my way. So he was living in your old place? To, yeah, just to, well, mainly to see if the fan is still there, but they always have the the uh, window blinds closed. So I can't really... How dare they? What fan did you leave there? Whisper the, fan. Oh, the whisper one's still there. Oh, wow. Okay. Just because it would have been such a pain to get it down. Yeah. To, you know, move out on a deadline. So. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I occasionally regret leaving it behind, and then I'm like, okay, but there have been whisper wind on marketplace yeah, and i haven't gotten yeah, them so i i can't that one was it was new old stock when we put it up yeah if i found another new in box one i'd probably yeah, get that if i'd have known that not all air max hunters perform the same way i might have been more eager to keep it because i was rather disappointed in that passport three did we did we check the capacitor and make sure it didn't have I don't a think we've checked it yeah i guess quite, it's true because this one yeah. brought, this one drew the correct values but still didn't go at the right speed so it is possible it is possible that a fan yes and i, I don't okay. necessarily right, low reverse yeah it is it is possible that a fan can direct draw the correct amount of current uh and still have a failing capacitor okay yeah well, i guess we should uh, eventually check that yeah Okay. Well, who wants to take it to medium? You're not going to be able to reach it. Nobody will. <laughs> if, you, if you can re reach the reverse switch, you can reach I, I, I can hit the reverse switch, but I can't hit that. Yeah. We need reverse stick. I'm out of luck. I'm no fun. It was whenever I reversed the whisper wind, I would just go up on my, uh, my loft level, pull the fan over, and flip the switch. You talked to McGee since the... Uh, I have not, but I was, I, it said when I, I, he called me out of the blue, I was not expecting that the one time, but. He called me on Wednesday, but I was, I was with my uh, youth Bible study at my church, and I couldn't pick up, I texted him, and uh, I, I that's medium. Okay. Yeah. Appears to be the same, or very close at least. No, I think it's a little more in reverse, which is. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's enough to push the gold line a little bit. Yeah. We, we can now acknowledge that the gold lines exist because. Uh, yeah, but two or gold lines. Yeah, but not a, yeah. And the Hanson. The only oh I'm, I'm talking about the peak gold lines that we haven't done the eighty fives yet, oh, so those don't exist. Oh. Yeah, it's about the same in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, where do we think it's going to start on the test rig? Um, I expect, uh, oh, do okay, you want to go? Um, geez, I'm trying to remember back to the last time I tested. Yeah, it. that's because you don't hang, come and hang out enough. And it's your fault and you're sorry. Right, I, I am. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm going to say, I'll go with three again. I'll go with four on this. I'll go with two. Although a new tone wall control would start with five. Two. Hey! Wow, okay. Nice. That should keep going. Yeah. 
I'm surprised at how good the bearings are in this, given how rough a shape it was when we it's got it. It's always the bad shape ones that have great bearings, I swear, every time. Interesting. Th th that's happened a million times, like where the one that's in terrible shape runs great and the one that's beautiful runs like crap. Like, I just, it has like, happened enough times to make it seem like there's a there's parallel, a there. there's something there. Okay, here's four. Gold paint, essentially. It's it's a gold paint. It was originally brown from the factory. It looks like the original. You mean? Yeah. It's interesting that they didn't just buy a polished brass original and stick it on there. They instead made, painted well, I it. I think they wanted it to match because everything else was. They wanted that just painted yeah. in the same color. And also, it's a yeah, it's a two-speed original, but it was hardwired for just high. Yeah. Again, the other ones that I've seen have the original two-speed pull chain and then a light dimmer. Oh, that one was capped off, interestingly. Yeah, this one clearly was sold, like, I guess you you could probably, I'm assuming you could custom order them, and I'm assuming when they ordered it, they're like, they ask whether or not you're going to be using it with a wall control, and then... They might have just capped it off. Then, yeah. Because uh, if you're going to be using it with a wall control, you don't need the low speed or the light dimmer. All right, here's eight. Nine and ten. It's eleven. Twelve. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, yes. Thirteen. What, uh, what snacks are metal? Uh, oh. Salt, vinegar, potato chips, I think, are the most metal. Um, pretzels are pretzels. pretzels are metal. Really, any um, any form of potato chip. I don't I don't believe there are any non-metal potato chips. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. tortilla chips, relatively metal. Nice. I don't know about Doritos specifically, but definitely when we went to Taco Burrito Mexico, the chips that come to your table. You know, when you eat it at a Mexican oh, restaurant, yeah. very metal. Um, Pete's such a picky eater that I forget that he likes hot stuff. Seventeen. Um, because, yeah, Pete, uh, Pete... Yeah, I learned the hard way at that chicken place. That was... That, that all, and the mildest thing they had was making me die. Yeah. With the Dave's Hot Chicken. Have you been there yet? I Dave's Hot Chicken is very metal. And uh, Pete Ooh. has gotten their very hottest thing. So right now we're at 0.75. This is what it should be drawing on high. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to keep going to, yeah. like, where it'll... Okay. Yeah, go Even where... We are going over a little technically. Yeah, I mean we're we're we'll we'll use the the the, the drawing current and yeah. not the rated current. Okay. So this is nineteen here. But I am very curious to know what it, what it would draw with with a oh, four yeah. with a true four or five 19. or even a five. Because I'm not used to that small of a capacitor difference making such a, a difference in current draw. But it really does seem to make a difference in performance though. Eight four. Eight four. This is 23, almost there, 24, 25, I think we're... We got a ways uh, to go. We may not go over. Well, I thought it was 8, 9, wasn't it? I thought it was 9, three, here at the high switch. I thought it was 9 something. It was 8, 9. I would... Uh, no, it's not. 9, 4. Oh, okay. Right here's 26. Yeah. Oh, I've discovered that... Apparently, I can't do spicy food anymore either, though, which is really upsetting to me. Because you guys, I'm sure everybody's heard the story about how when I first was went in the hospital, everything tasted like battery acid, and when I came out of the hospital, okay, hospital so starting to go over. Okay, so it goes over around 29. When I came out of the hospital, I could do every, I could taste everything except spicy food still tasted like battery acid. But up until like a few weeks ago, that was fine. If I just if I went to like something extremely spicy, I still tasted battery acid. But like normal spicy food was fine. A couple weeks ago, the battery acid taste went away. But now, like stuff that used to be fine for me is is too spicy. So it's like my taste buds got reset at zero. Because Nia made some chili, and I was like, "Do you make this way spicier than usual?" And she's like, "No." But my mouth was on fire. Hmm. So I'm turning into Rick, apparently. Okay. Uh, solid state. What do you think, Andy? give it bedroom i'm gonna go out on a limb with silent it's been performing pretty well it has all right i 
That's damn near silent. That's the, that's the worst of it right there. That's a solid bedroom. I mean, that's low end of bedroom for yeah, sure. Yeah, quieter end of bedroom, I'd say. Because if this, if like, if we had the fluorescent lights on, we might not be able to even hear that over the ballasts. Yeah, true. That's see, that's doing pretty well. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I can, I can live with that. Low end of bad bedroom under under different circumstances, we might call it silent. Okay, is that oh zero to high? Yeah. What do you think, Andy? Uh, interesting. Since are, are we going by rated or actual? Actual. So is it point eight? It's point nine four, I think, or point nine three, somewhere around there. What do you think, Rick? Big. I'm going to go with zero. Well, I have no choice, but go with the rush. Yeah, no wind rush. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because if it drops again, it started low and then it went high, which usually means, but if it, if it, sometimes it'll drop a little bit after. So if it, if it, if it drops down to 9.3 or 9.2, but it looks, it's, it, so far it seems like it's staying. Well, while we're waiting to see if it drops, let's again thank our sponsors. Fan stick, as we saw in this video, light stick. Uh, Florida fan stick, now 69% longer and harder than regular fan stick. That's what you said. Thank you. Uh, that, <laughs> that, that, that should be their slogan, actually. That, that is, really should, yeah. Okay, yeah, no end rush. Um, taco Burrito Mexico, where you can get a taco a burrito or a Mexico. The good manufacturing company for when excellence is too much. Sperry, the beverage of choice for fan collectors. 81220 LLC, where our motto is crunch, 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 crunch. Rick or Sheep, a fun game you can play with your friends and family. Go to rickorsheep.com. To find out more about Fanstick, go to buyfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz. Or for Florida Fanstick, go to buyfanstickxxx.com. Am I forgetting anybody? I think you got them. Okay. Well, as always, patreon.com uh, slash dspiffy for behind the scenes content. Well, do and we want to put ratings on this one? Or? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, ratings. Andy, you got categories yet or still? Yeah. Oh, one, one train, two train, three trains? <laughs> three train, one, two, three. How many, how many well, trains? How many trains? Well, they're, all, they're all the same, but you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's like, uh, I'd say that's two. Oh. Solid two. I don't like using the numbers. It's really, it's really sad. Like, it, it just takes yeah. all the joy out. We got to come up with categories. Yeah. So... Yeah, there's uh, this. Yeah, this is avocado plants for me. I like these a lot. Yeah, it it this fits in with any loosely vintage or mid century decor. Like absolutely, this, this works in a lot of places. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, can you think? Of, I, I can't think of a place where, as long as the finish was appropriate, I can't think of a place where these don't look good. No, that's what I mean. I I don't think I. I mean, heck, a white one you could almost get away in a modern house. Well, paint the blade arms white or silver. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. But still, I mean, these these are these fit with a lot of different decors. So yeah. Well, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and please continue to bye, fans. Thanks for watching.